All right, guys, we're going to talk about your friend, your loved one here, Destiny, your favorite liberal slash witch streamer slash uh, C-U-C-K. Yeah, guys, that's your favorite person in the world. I know you love him so much. I know you just cannot wait to watch every single one of his videos. That's why you're not subscribed to me. I get it. Anyways, so let's talk about your beloved drug ad. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, let's just roll the clip. For a long time, I had, uh, I think it was like seven years ago, my son got diagnosed with ADHD and got on medication for it and everything. And my community has always memed about me having it and blah, blah, blah. And I think I was the person at the one end of the spectrum where it's like, listen, okay, my brain works. I can sit and I concentrate, blah, blah, blah. I'm just kind of like a lazy piece of shit. I can do this, okay? Um, and my God, it took me, I think it was like four or five months ago, I had a friend who suggested like, hey, like I have Adderall, you should try something. I was like, oh, fuck it. For the first time in my life, I was like, holy shit, okay. Maybe I actually have ADHD. I'm going to go fucking get a prescription and we'll see blah, blah, blah. And the past four months of my life have been unbelievably different my entire earlier life. Anyways, Mr. Destiny shows up to this uh, podcast and he uh, goes ahead and proclaims that everyone that supports Trump is a effing idiot. One thing that I've always found it really hard to grapple with is you think that if anybody supports Donald Trump, they're pretty much insane. Yeah. But that is still a significantly large population of a developed country of yeah, the United States. That's pretty crazy. So how do you not have this like shadow of a doubt, at least in your opinion of like, okay, if so many people and within this group of people, there are extremely intelligent people. They're very thoughtful people. They're very charitable people. They're very like open-minded people. Find me some and I'll show okay. on this well, podcast you know where you talk to them. I don't believe that there are very, there but, are very intelligent people that support Donald Trump, but they do it with their head in the sand. Or if somebody were to say something like, listen, okay, yeah. Donald Trump is all these things, but like the tax cuts are good. And I like the economy a little bit more because he like tries to deregulate something. Like, okay, fine. I'll, but, you know. but here's the thing. Yeah. South Park did a great episode where you have like a turd sandwich and like a piece of diarrhea. I don't know. And you have to choose between the turd sandwich and the diarrhea. If you have Trump and someone else, I'm just, I'm just giving an example here. Mm -hmm. And you don't like someone else. Doesn't that then by default, you're going with Trump? Does that make Yeah, you but insane? that's only if you're dumb enough to think that your choices are two things that are essentially the same. Like I said, I understand why yeah. some people support Trump. I like when I say that they're crazy, I don't necessarily mean like in a malevolent kind of way, uh, or I'm sorry, a malicious kind of way. Yeah. I, usually, they just don't know anything. So they I, like I Trump think, because he like no. owns the left, or like because anytime because people. That's so crazy because I could make the same argument uh, for Biden supporters. Biden supporters, if you sit there and ask them. Uh, fiscally, how did Biden help you? Tell me, talk to me about the Biden uh, policies that you're so in favor of. Uh, they're really going to put their heads in the sand and tell you, I don't care. Uh, I just don't want Trump in office. So this is so hilarious that Destiny is literally using the same argument you could use against him. Uh, uh, I guess this is projection at its finest levels. And I, I just find it so hilarious. This is This guy is worse than Hillary. Like you thought... There's no way any human being can be worse than Hillary calling everyone deplorable. This guy just calls everyone an idiot. Basically, 50% of Americans that uh, actually are going to vote for Trump and more than 50% of Americans, he just called them idiots. They're putting their heads in the sand. Uh, I mean, I don't even say that about liberals. I just say that they're being lied to. I say that they're being, being manipulated. Can somebody explain to me what's his problem with Donald Trump? Uh, I guess he thinks that Donald Trump started an erection, uh, election uh, fraud uh, uh, or, or tried to steal an election, but there was no military action. There's nobody in uh, in there, and actually, they did not indict Donald Trump on an actual in insurrection uh, charge. So I don't even understand why this guy's mad at Donald Trump. I should be. We should be mad at Biden right now. He's the president, not Donald Trump. So I don't even get uh, these arguments. But go ahead, go ahead, keep talking. And this guy actually is so out of touch that when he comes in. For them to, and he's so in love with Biden, the demented fool. God forbid we even know the, 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 the calamities that Biden's done. I'm pretty sure he was one of these Epstein guys. I digress. Destiny comes when they ask him, hey, go ahead and uh, rate our, your favorite political figure. He puts Biden, A tier, top tier, right next to XQC, just to show you <laughs> how much he loves him. <laughs> Um, Vosh here, uh, where's Hassan at? F. F. Okay. Well, Vosh gets one tier above Hassan because he's a little bit smarter than Hassan. Uh, but that actually, that means he should know better. And he <laughs> shits on me and he says so many incorrect things. Actually, you know what? He's an F tier. F tier for lazy. He doesn't hustle enough. His channel should be bigger, but it's not because he's lazy and he's complacent and he's making his million. So he doesn't care. Fuck that guy. 
Vivek. I don't think he offered anything of value. He was just like a little, uh, basically a darker version of Trump, uh, who was like less successful and less in every single conceivable way. Fuck Vivek. And XQC, uh, God tier political commentator, uh, obviously a uh, frequent call into the destiny stream, believes in all the best things, antagonizes the fuck out of people that I don't like, like Hassan. So, you know, he makes the S tier as well. So guys, I just uh, cannot believe that you guys love this guy. I'm just in absolute disbelief. I want somebody to explain to me uh, what's so cute about this guy. Is it that his girlfriend left him after he shared her with uh, multiple men? Is it that he is 5'6", tiny, scrawny? If you smack him really hard, he might actually uh, roll over and might actually hit his head and ab absolutely pass out, maybe even just disappear from this earth. So tell me the appeal here is that he speaks so fast. Let's play the clips, guys. He speaks uh, very, uh, very, very quickly. <laughs> so if it's like morbidly obese, then it could be a physical disability, which we disincluded in this so it's like no nope. i'm not saying morbidly obese i'm just saying like obesity i like obesity as a lens for this because it's very like that's a very clear like just eat less and exercise more mm -hmm. eat healthier exercise more those are things that every single person has theoretically 100 percent control over but even though we have control over that 100 percent uh, clearly it's influenced from our childhood right mm -hmm. like if you take a behavior and you say like oh every single person can make a choice on this every single day it's like okay well that's one you agree with that right that every single person can every day make a choice to eat mm -hmm. or exercise right right basically right. assuming no disabilities right right but if that was really true, then you would expect to see a smattering. Uh, it would basically be random for what everybody's weight and physical health would be in terms of um, obesity, right? But it's not random. Chances are if you're a parent... So, <laughs> I really want to know, what's this guy's appeal? I get it. I used to be brainwashed. I love Cheng Yuger, and I used to watch this guy. But it's so hilarious to me that he himself hates Hassan. He hates everybody. Uh, and uh, he, uh, I guess that's his way to say that he's not a lefty, even though he literally puts Biden at the highest. A story like this comes out, yes, you finally, okay? QAnon, the pizza shop, everything is coming together, okay? This is it. The child, billionaire, politician, sex rape ring, finally. And I think what probably actually happened was you had a billionaire guy like Epstein, who was a pervert, who paid off a ton of girls, not even the majority of them, or the a minority of them were underage, to come over, give him massages, maybe give his friends massages, and sometimes jerk him off. But the vast majority of it was probably legal. The majority of it probably weren't minors. There were a few that were, I think, two confirmed, I think, only two. Um, and he just, like, sometimes he would, like, send girls to go and, like, rub and tug his fucking friends or whatever. And that's it. Do you think that any of it could have been... That's blind? it. No. Absolutely not. Or... Let this is the same guy that sits here yelling and shouting just over allegations of sexual assault from uh, Andrew Tate. But yeah, it's just a couple of rugs, rubs and tugs uh, by a couple of underage girls. Who cares? It's just another day at the Epstein office. Uh, but yeah, guys, I digress. L leave your opinions down below. What do you think? Do you agree with him that every Trump supporter is an absolute idiot? Uh, have you watched his debate against Trump supporters and do you agree that he's absolutely dismantled or the, all their arguments about Trump uh, having a better economy, having every, uh, basically every amenity better, having more these tax breaks, less regulation, basically uh, less wars, um, b being an, uh, an anti-establishment figure, um actually being anti-establishment i mean he created a lot of issues and that's why they're actually after him right now they don't want him to be elected again so go ahead let me uh leave a comment down below what do you think do you agree with destiny your beloved destiny or do you agree with me and if you do we know who to subscribe to so go ahead click that subscribe button love you